Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you might see something different in the background. I'm trying a little different configuration today, so let me know in the comments what you think. Hello, welcome, my name is Jessica, if you are new here. Today we're doing an Amazon favorites haul. Usually I do like fashion hauls only when it comes to Amazon, but I have a little bit of clothes and a little bit of fun odds and ends. So we're gonna start with some fashion, we're gonna end it with the odds and ends. I hope you all enjoyed this video and find something fun and new to discover on Amazon. Of course, everything that I'm gonna share today will be linked down in the description box so you can shop it super easily. So this first piece is one that I have had for quite a while and I am, you know, side note, little small victories here. Uh, when I first got this, which I ordered it in a medium, this is from the Amazon brand Good, Good Threads? Good Threads, yeah, that's the name of the brand. Uh, it was a little tight in the hips and I was a little taken aback because normally medium is my size, but it was a little bit tight and it continued to be tighter and tighter. I've literally not picked it up in months because I gained a little bit of weight. I've been trying to like lose some weight and it's been very slow, but I put this back on today because I was like, we're gonna try to put this in this haul and it fits. Ah! Okay, sorry, I just was very excited about that. But in any case, this is such a cute little overalls dress. It definitely gives me 70s vibes, if you will. Um, it's just a denim short, I wouldn't say that it's super short, but I would say it's a mini dress. I'm wearing it with this striped turtleneck that I have from Walmart. It's pretty old, so pretty sure it's not available anymore. I'll try to link some similar ones because I think this sort of turtleneck underneath this is such a cute look. It's just very like retro feeling, but cute. It doesn't feel so retro that you feel like you're wearing a 70s costume though. It's just that lightly inspired look. Uh, paired it with this fun shearling jacket, which is from Abercrombie. If these are still available, I will link it too, but I'll just try to find some similar shearling coats because I think the shearling faux suede situation goes really well with this overall vibe. But I'm just really excited that these little overalls finally fit me. I feel like I'm finally making progress. <laughs> okay. This next find I am just so happy about. So I'm sure, where is it? If you've watched any of my Amazon hauls, you've heard me gush and go absolutely crazy for the drop blazer, especially in this pink color, but it comes in a bunch of colors. I just, I love this blazer so much. It's really well made at a great price point. But like when I got this pink color, I was just smitten. And I always thought to myself, man, wouldn't it be so cool if there was matching pants for that blazer? Well, there is, and I found them. So these are also from the drop. They match the blazer. So now you can have a suit. I love me a suit. Say that again, I love suits. So I ordered these pants in a small. Normally I would always probably order small. If it's a small, medium, large situation, I usually go for a medium. But I, I discovered these because of another blogger at the Amazon Creator Summit last November. And she told me size down because they run big. And she's right. They definitely do. So these are a small. They definitely feel uh, nice and loose, but you kind of want them to fit sort of loose because they're suit pants. So if you want that sort of like more menswear looking suit look, which is what I usually like to go for. So I'm going to wear like a suit look. I kind of want it to be a little bit gender bendy somewhat. So for me, super tight fitting pants is not what I'm looking for. So sizing down one size, I got just the right sort of loose fit through the whole leg, through my booty, through everything, which is an accomplishment because I feel like my booty and my, my thighs are a little thick. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about ordering these pants, size down a size, trust me, just do it. Um, the back has a stretchy elastic in it. So it's got plenty of wiggle room and they are they're so great. I'm 5'7", and they hit just right at my ankle. So they're like the perfect length. I don't need to get them tailored. They're not cropped. They just hit right there. So that can you can use that as your reference point for whatever height you are. I did this two different ways. So the first way, I'm styling it with my Elton John band t-shirt that I picked up at his concert. It says the bitch is back on it, which the bitch is back, y'all. She is back. Um... And this is a cute way to style a t-shirt. I love wearing a t-shirt under uh, a suit. Pink, it goes with the pink of this. I'm a sucker for pink and I just am feeling this whole Barbie core look. Uh, then I also decided to style it as like more of a menswear suit. I love mixing like masculine and feminine elements in the same outfit. To me, 
I just think that is such a like interesting way to style a look. So for this, obviously it's a suit, um, but it's in bright pink. So there's your feminine aspect. I have this great like tuxedo style button up shirt that I put on underneath it. I grabbed Nate's one bow tie that he wore in our wedding uh, to sort of like drape around my neck to sort of give it that sort of like, I untied my bow tie kind of vibe. And I think the maroon of this bow tie looks so good with this bright pink, right? I mean, come on, it looks fabulous. And then of course, putting on a fun pink hat, just in a different pink tone. So it's kind of playing with the pink and red tones in this look and I love it. I, I just, I love this outfit. It's, it's such a cool alternative for if you have an occasion that's a little bit dressier and you don't really feel like being super feminine or girly, go with a menswear inspired suit look and you will stand out because that's just not an outfit that a lot of people or a lot of women are gonna opt for. So we also have to talk about her. Hopefully this is still available on Amazon, but I found this. It is such a great bag that is inspired by the Valentino bag that I have been eyeing for so long that has like the big chunky studs. So this definitely looks very similar to the real one. The only difference is this one does not have the studs on the back of the bag, which the real one has them on the front and the back. But it's got this nice big crossbody strap again with the nice cool chunky studs. You've got a little uh, twist closure there. It opens up and there's two compartments right in there. So a decent sized bag, you know, it's not like the most high quality thing ever, but it's cute. Now I will say shipping took a hot second. So if you order this, just understand you might not see it for a couple weeks, but worth the wait. It comes in black and also white last I checked. I need to stop ordering things in this like taupey color because I just don't think this color does much for me. But that being said, I found this on Amazon. It's a dupe for another brand called Kate, spelled K-H-A-I-T-E, I, -E, I want to say, um, which is a much higher end brand. They make this uh, knit top very like all over TikTok and Instagram, at least my feeds. And when I saw this on Amazon for much less, I was like, okay, we need, necklace needs to stay right there. We need to try this. So here's my thoughts. First of all, um, it's not like terribly like the, the fabric isn't terrible but I just don't know if it's just because it's not as well made as the real one would be or what but it doesn't really work for me I mean it is so wide somehow it does manage to stay up like barely on my shoulders but look at how wide it is there's just no way you can wear a bra with this right so I literally have my bra straps like pushed down it's not the most comfortable or conducive to movement kind of situation I guess you could wear a strapless bra if you wanted to um, I just try not to wear strapless bras because they, I don't find them to be very comfortable for, you know, most things. I'll put up with it if I'm like wearing a dress or something and going to a special event. But if I'm wearing just a knit top, I don't really want to be wearing a strapless bra and deal with that level, ugh, level of uncomfortability, I guess. No, the jury's out for me on this one. I mean, I think it makes a really pretty neckline because it's like almost off the shoulder, but it doesn't feel, you know, like it's gonna fall off or anything. It, I don't know, it is very like feminine. I love the, the neckline of it. I also love that it kind of comes down in the front, in the back, sort of corset style almost. So you can see in the way that the directions of things go in the knit that it's supposed to be mimicking a bustier. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one just because it doesn't feel practical for me to wear, but maybe you can make it work a little bit better. But it is very feminine. I think if I got it in like a black or something that it did a little bit more for my coloring, then I might be a little bit more of a fan. So as we've already been over this video, I am obsessed with this color pink and I found this on Amazon Aware, which is Amazon's like eco-friendly in-house brand. I think it's fairly new, but everything that I've gotten from this brand, I've just loved. And this has to be probably my favorite thing that I've ever gotten from Amazon Aware, just because it is such a classic shape for a sweater. You really can't go wrong with just a good old fashioned crew neck, sweater it's got a slim fit and it's very very lightweight and the knit just feels really soft it feels expensive it feels well made and you know if you're not really into pink that's okay it comes in some other colors some more neutral colors but I just love like the details in the stitching you know you can see in the shoulder just this little detail right here um it's it's fantastic especially like me I live in a warm place so I don't really want super heavy thick sweaters because that's not practical I mean I end up not really wearing them very often. Now I style this with these dark, well, I guess I should say emerald green trousers from Chic Wish. I absolutely love the combination of green and pink together. I will never get over it. I will continue 
to style these two colors together. And I think that this is a great outfit for if you have kind of a nice dinner to go to, any kind of special occasion. It still feels dressy because you've got like the slacks and the little statement purse but it's comfortable, right? So there are just, there's ways to be um, dressy and comfortable in the winter time. I know for me, if I was somewhere cold, I would be a little bit more hesitant to get dressed up in like a short dress or something. So this is a great option, especially if you live somewhere a little chillier to still feel that, you know, chic, more upscale vibe without showing too much skin, if you know what I mean. Now, the little purse that I am wearing with this, this purse I feel like just makes this whole outfit and um, it just kind of gives it that more dressed up feel. This is such a good, like, inspired bag, inspired by the Jimmy Choo bag, which is so cute. It's just this little bucket bag style. It's got this really pretty uh, bejeweled handle. There we go. This really pretty bejeweled handle, which is so gorgeous. And then fun little um, drawstring thing here with the little tassels. How fun is that? And then you just open it up. I think it looks a lot more cute just carrying it like this, but oh my god, I can't recommend this sweater enough. And it actually is kind of the perfect match to the drop blazer and pants that I showed earlier. So if you want to do like a full-on pink on pink look, you can. Moving on to a little bit of an accessory. So I got this harness belt thing, which I've had a black one for a long time, but I kind of wanted to dabble in a more of a neutral one because as much as I love the black one, the black one just tends to give a little bit too much goth vibes, which is totally fine. I don't, I will go for that look every once in a while, but I thought that I could have one that was more of a light color to sort of throw on outfits and make it a little bit more palatable for my normal everyday aesthetic, if you will. So I really love this. I think it looks so cute over this button up shirt dress, which otherwise would be a huge tent on me. This belt really serves to bring it in and make it flattering. I could totally see this being really cute over like flowy floral, you know, boho dresses in the spring and summer. That would be a super cute way to wear this just to kind of edge it up, right? Because sometimes those really girly boho floral dresses are fun, but they feel a little bit too girly some days. And this is the perfect way to sort of give those super girly pieces a little bit of an edge. Now, size wise, I'm gonna tell you, it is pretty tight. I have it on one of the last holes for the waist part and it's snug. The model in the product photo had it on over a blazer, which I thought was so cute. And that's something that I wanted to do with this, but I just don't think that there's enough give for me to be able to wear it with a blazer underneath because you know, a blazer has a lot more material than this thin shirt or like one of those thinner sundresses that I was mentioning. So I think I would have to get a bigger one to be able to layer it over the blazer like it's shown on the model, unfortunately. So just something to note if you are around my size or maybe you're a little bit um, bigger than this might not be the right belts because whew, it's snug. Um, but it's super cute. The back is kind of just like goes up the middle of your back. So just a fun accessory to add something new and interesting to your outfits and give you something fresh to play with. You know, this next piece is just a simple wardrobe staple kind of piece, but highly recommend. It is another piece from the Amazon Aware collection, Amazon's in-house um, sustainable brand. And I love this top. I have a similar one from another Amazon uh, brand, not the Aware, but very similar like shape, this square neckline, which I think is so feminine, but also just so different because so many shirts are either crew neck or V-neck. So to do this square shape, just gives something a little bit more visual interest in my opinion. So I really like it for that. But I also just have to say, like all the other Amazon Aware pieces, it is very, very soft. Oh, it just feels so comfortable on. I don't know what kind of magic they put into this fabric, but I absolutely love it. I'm gonna need to get this shirt in some more colors because I just love it. I think it's very flattering, it's very comfortable, and it's just a great staple piece. I've just got it on with a more casual outfit here, but you know, you could wear this with slacks and under a blazer at work. You could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with a skirt. There's just so many different ways that you can use a shirt like this, and it's so affordable. So definitely recommend, and the comfort level is just through the roof on this one. So this next piece is just super casual, but I think it's a piece that 
everyone could have in their wardrobe. And it is this chambray button up shirt. This is from the brand Daily Ritual. And I got this in a medium, I think based on the size chart. And I think that was correct, just because the arms seem like they fit really nice. Um, and something about it, though, when I like go like this, the buttons kind of bust open. And I would think with a medium, I would have more room. I mean, I feel like I have a lot of room in the shirt. So maybe it's the shoulders thing. Maybe my shoulders are a little more broad for it. I don't know. But what I do know is it feels very comfortable and it's a nice, just like really long line button up shirt. So you could wear it just untucked and it's so comfortable. I mean, the outfit that I'm wearing right now is one that I would probably just wear around the house just to like be chill and comfy. But you could totally take all the excess fabric on the bottom and tie it at the waist to give it a little bit more definition if you wanted to go for that look. So it's very versatile. I also think this would look really cute worn um, over just some leggings or yoga pants while you're at home chilling or running errands. So definitely a versatile shirt. Um, very comfy. The denim on denim look is still kind of trending, the Canadian tuxedo. And I like this shirt for that because a lot of my jeans are a darker wash jean. And I think the key to doing a cute Canadian tuxedo is to do um, two like contrasting denim colors rather than them like kind of matching each other. Cause I think that's where it starts to look a little not right. So I definitely will be using this for some Canadian tuxedo looks in the future, but it's just so just easy to wear and you could wear it a lot of different ways. It's a super versatile item to have in your wardrobe. One last little fashion piece, this hoodie. Okay, I'm not like a big hoodie person. I don't know why, because they're so comfortable, but I just tend to not really go for them. But I got this one from Amazon. It's also part of their Aware collection. I don't know, it may be being eco-friendly. It's just, it's so soft on the inside. I feel like I'm being like hugged. It is so wonderful. Um, I love the color of this. It comes in several other colors, but I decided to get be moody and get this dark red. But the buttons that go up the front are super cute. It's got a little tie to make the hoodie a little bit tighter. Love it. The inside is unfathomably soft. The outside of it is so soft. Just a great casual piece. I use this a lot when I'm um, around the house or going to the gym. Uh, it really works for all those things to just kind of throw on and go and be so comfortable. Okay, I lied. One more fashion piece just because it is such a good deal right now. Hopefully it still is when this video goes live, but it is the Free People Adela, I feel like I'm playing Cat's Cradle here, uh, bralettes. I'll put the product photo over here so you can see it on the model. I'm not going to be trying this on, but this little bralette from Free People has been so popular for the last, I don't know, four or five years, however long it's been out. Um, and it is just so cute. It's usually $38, but right now it's on sale on Amazon. I personally got it for like $11. It's gone up a little bit in price, but it's still about half off what it retails for. And it comes in so many different colors. So I love this because it looks so pretty and delicate under things where your bra strap is just gonna show. So in situations like that, I like to have bralettes like this that are pretty, that look delicate, so that when my bra shows, it looks intentional and it, you know, complements the rest of the look. I also love that it has adjustable straps back there, even though the straps are very dainty, but they are adjustable, so you can make this work for you. Now, sizing wise, I'm a 34 double D and I get a size medium in this, and that seems to work for me. I could maybe do a small, but, I don't know, I've never really tried the small. I always go for the medium. It sometimes feels a little bit loose around the back just because the back does have a good amount of stretch. So, I don't know, it's really, really adorable though. I have it already in another color. <coughs> it's just a great little piece to have and they're comfortable, they're really easy to wear, especially if you don't like wearing, you know, under wires and all that. Moving on to some of my non-fashion related Amazon favorites that I have found recently. The first one has to be my new mirror which is right behind me. I had an old mirror there that I had found, somebody from my building had thrown out. I was like, oh, that's cute. And I painted it gold and made it look cute for this room, but it just wasn't tall enough. It wasn't fully floor length. And I really wanted to upgrade to something that's bigger that like I can fit my whole body in so I can take better outfit selfies to post on Like To Know It and on Instagram stories and all that jazz for you guys. So this one I love because it was only $138 and it's a great mirror. So it's about six feet tall, give or take. 
uh, and then about 22 inches wide, I want to say. So it's not huge, but it's a perfect full length mirror if you have maybe a smaller space that you would like to have a mirror in. I love the curve on the top of it. I think it looks really modern and sleek. And it's also really cool because not only can you mount it to the wall, you can also, it has like a stand on the back of it where it can prop itself up. So it can kind of stand on its own and it feels pretty sturdy. I just lean mine against the wall and it's awesome like that too. My next home related Amazon favorite is these new light bulbs that I just found on Amazon. They're smart light bulbs. So Nate has gotten us all into like the whole smart home thing years ago. Throughout the rest of our house, we have a lot of the Philips Hue light bulbs, which are great. Those are really cool. But the problem that I had was I have two different lights in here that use Edison light bulbs, which are like the more cool looking, old timey looking light bulbs. And up until now, I just assumed that there were no smart light bulb options for Edison bulbs, even though I always wished that there would be. Well, there are. This brand called Genie creates all kinds of smart home things, um, but they make smart Edison bulbs. So these bulbs are LED lights, so they save a lot of energy. And I also love that they come with an app where you can connect them via Bluetooth to your app and you can control the dimness, uh, how bright they are. You can like change the temperature of them. You can make them like super warm all the way over to like very blue light and anywhere in between. So they're really very customizable. They work with Alexa and Google Home, which is great. I don't use either of those things. Um, they unfortunately don't work with Apple Home Kit, which is what we use for the rest of our smart light bulbs and smart home things. But it's not the end of the world. They're very affordable. They're amazing. I love like they also like have a feature where you can put them on a timer or program them so that they turn on at a certain time of day to a certain brightness level or temperature and then they turn off at a certain time of day. You can have them be programmed to change temperature if like the weather where you live is rainy or sunny or something. It's mind-blowing what you can do with these. So if you're looking for some cool smart light bulbs for your home that are affordable. Genie is great. It's very easy to set up and I love that they have the Edison bulbs. This one is for all of you out there who like to do TikTok and Instagram reels or you like to, you know, take photos of yourself when you're on a trip and you don't have anyone to hold the phone for you. Let me introduce you to my new best friend. I discovered this on Amazon. It is a very portable iPhone tripod. Now I've been looking for a good one of these for a long time. I've had many of them, but my issue with them is they did not extend tall enough. This one is almost as tall as me when it's all the way out. So you might be looking at it and you're like, how is that a tripod? Well, let me show you. So it's got this little button right here on the bottom. You just push it, the legs pop out. And then here we have the little Thing that holds your phone. You can flip it this way if you want to take a vertical photo or video. You can flip it this way if you want to take a horizontal photo or video. And it also can angle, so you can bend it forwards. I've used this before to take videos of me laying down on the ground um, from above, so that's really handy. But it extends out so tall. I'll just show you. See, it's almost as tall as me, which is amazing. And it feels pretty sturdy. I'm sure if there was some significant wind happening, it wouldn't be so great, but it comes in so handy. When I don't have anyone to help me take a photo or a video, I have this. The other thing that's really cool about it is it comes with this little ah, Bluetooth shutter button. So this connects via Bluetooth to your cell phone, and then you can use this to release the shutter on your phone camera from a distance. It's genius. If you're a solo traveler, if you're someone who likes to create content, if you're not a solo traveler, but you just want to be able to get photos of you and whoever you're traveling with without, without having to ask a stranger for help, this is so clutch and I love it. And it's such an affordable find. This is something that Nate got me for Christmas. I had it on my Christmas wish list because I knew I needed it. And it's a travel mirror. So you just pop it open and voila hello there you guys are hi uh so it's a little travel mirror and i love that it has the the cover kind of serves as a little stand for it it's got a button right here you just turn it on oh such a bright light you can change the temperature so this is like kind of the blue like uh more bright setting this is warm and this is a combination of the two you can hold this down and you can dim the light you can also 
hold it down and bring it way back up to its full brightness. I know that I'm not alone in saying this, but when you go to a hotel, it's so hit or miss their lighting in the bathroom for doing your makeup. I've been to hotels where it's just absolutely terrible. It's great lighting for those times that you find yourself in a hotel that has terrible lighting for makeup. It's so affordable. It's less than 20 bucks and I'm definitely going to be taking this with me on all my trips. You can charge it right here. It's got a USB charger back there. I've not really gotten to use it yet because I just got it for Christmas so I don't really know the battery life of it but it's great and look at how slim it is. It's going to fit so compact right into my suitcase or carry-on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like the format where it's like a little bit clothes, a little bit other stuff. I would love to know if you all enjoyed that or if you just want it all clothes. I do have to say this video was so much easier to film because I recently did a huge closet declutter and now I can actually walk in my closet and see my shoes to style with my outfits. It's a freaking miracle. If you want to watch me declutter my closet and clean out my shoes, make sure to check out this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Come on. You know you want to. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate that. I'll see you guys over here and if not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!